Children live in a world that has different sites in it, typically. They spend some time at home, they spend some time at school, they spend time on the playground, maybe they go to church and Sunday school. And each of these settings has its own rules, its own social norms. The bigger are the differences between those settings, the more difficult it is for children to move from one to the another, the more stressful it is, the, the more disorganized life feels. There are peer cultural problems beginning kindergarten where students are teasing one another, are not being nice to one another. There is a curriculum the teachers teach, there's a curriculum the kids teach. The kids show up to school, the other kids teach them their identity. They teach them how somebody who looks like you and comes from where you come from is supposed to behave. To achieve ecological consistency to the degree that, that we'd like to see it achieved, there need, somebody needs to play a leadership role. It's a matter of somebody stepping up and taking responsibility to do it on purpose. Kids distinguish teachers who are nice or teachers who are fun from teachers who really are great and who really care and who, who make the difference for them. Part of it is if when an adult really cares, cares about you, they do things for you they don't have to do. Second piece, they won't let you give up. The won't let you give up piece is really what we call challenge. And it's challenging, to, challenging you to persist in the face of difficulty. We want to achieve a culture where it's just normal for teachers to do home visits, for parents to check in periodically with teachers, for the after school program providers to check in with teachers so they know what to emphasize in the homework. What we ideally want to achieve at the community level is a consistency, an ecological consistency. When it, so when a child goes from one setting to another, it's not like they're going from one world to another. And so we need adults who are conscious of the ecology, who are conscious of what students are experiencing as they move from one setting to another, who maybe check in with kids periodically to see how it's going as they move through those settings and try to be sure that, that you get the kind of alignment that we think we need to have.